everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Fubri. In today's video, I am here on Roblox and I am playing Berry Avenue. I'm so excited to show you guys this game. This game has been made by my sister Ambry and my boyfriend Oneth, and they have collaborated and made a role play game just for you guys. So I'm so excited to show you guys how this looks. The game is out right now as you guys are watching this. So after the video, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out for yourself. You can go ahead and see the experience you can role play in it let us know all the feedback that you guys have as well i will leave the game in the description down below but it is called berry avenue and it should be in my favor on my profile let's go straight ahead and click play so you guys can see what we are looking at Okay, so here we are in Berry Avenue. As you can see, I have a beautiful beach behind me, which just makes me love some. I mean, look at this. I feel like I'm on holiday, but you can sit here if you want to be in the shade. And look, just moving my little toes, enjoying the sound of the ocean. Or I can go over here and start sunbathing, which is something I probably would do. I probably would put some SPF on and just start sunbathing. Anyway, this game is called Berry Avenue. Like I said, it has been made by Ambry, who is my sister, as you guys know. She's actually made a video on this too, so I will leave her video down in the description down below if you guys want to watch what her video was like. But she has created this game. And when I say create, I mean she has literally built this game. Everything that you guys are seeing right now, she built. Like, she built these buildings, she made the trees, and Josh basically just turned this into a game. So I love the fact they've worked together because they're two people that I really, really love and that they've just made a game that I love even more. So I'm so excited for you guys to go ahead and see what this game is like. So I thought I'd give you guys a little tour so you guys can see what it's like and know what to do when you first come to the game. So when you first come to this game, you guys will start off right here, like where I am right now. And this game is basically a role play game. So you can role play any way you want. Right down here at the bottom is a briefcase where you can choose what kind of role you want to be. So right now I'm a baker, so I work at the bakery over there. But you can be anything you want to be. You can be a chef, you can be a criminal, you can be a dancer, a daycare worker, a doctor, a gamer. There's so many options that you guys can be. And not only that, we have loads of stuff in items as well. So in items, you can just pick up anything you want. We also have the berry plushie in here, look! Which is one of our real life items that we have on the berry store. But we now have this in the game and look how cute it is! It's so adorable, you guys don't actually have that in game. But we also have some other items that you guys can see as well. So my favorite item is in here is the gun. Yeah, there's a gun in this game. But I love it. It's for roleplay purposes. But I always, like, seem to always grab it. I think I'm a criminal, actually. I should probably change my title to being a criminal. Yeah, that fits better, I think. But there's so many items that you guys can choose from. We also have a camera. So if anyone saw me shooting a gun, they could take a picture. And I'd probably be sent to prison from that because it would be proof. But there's so many things that you guys can have. As you guys can see, we even have this. So if you guys are working as a nurse or a doctor, you guys can put someone on here and take them over to the hospital. So there's so many things and items that I'm going to leave you guys to look at yourself too. Because I think you guys are really going to enjoy seeing all the stuff that we have in items. We also had the coolest vehicles in this game too. We went for a very like retro style and I love the vehicles they have. You can even see the vehicle over here. Because look at this, it's very old fashioned. It kind of reminds me a bit of like Olivia Rodrigo. I really, really like it. It just looks so cool. But I'm gonna show you guys my favorite car. So my favorite car is this one, <gasps> but it is a game pass. I'm gonna have to buy it. Okay, here it is. Oh, look at my car. This is literally like Olivia Rodrigo's car. Look how cool it is. And you can change the color of it. If you change the color, you actually have a color wheel. So you can make it any color you want. I think Olivia Rodrigo has it almost like a light peach or like a light pink. Something like that. I think that looks like it. Yes, she has it like this. But you can also control your car by putting the lights on. You can lock your car door so no one can get in your car. And you can also beep. So if someone's in your way, just keep beeping. But I just love this car so much. One of my favorite things to do in this game is basically just to drive around. It's one of my favorite things to do. I just know it makes me feel very peaceful, very relaxed. And I just love it. 
But anyway, as we're driving around, I thought I'd just give you guys a little show of what everything looks like. Currently, I am driving over to Berry High School. So over here, we have the high school, which is probably where I'm going to be role-playing the most. Let me just park my car right there. As you guys can see, we also have a school bus right here as well, which can fit loads of students in there. And here is Berry High School. So let's just go straight in there. Oh, look. Also, I see myself over there too. Look, we have all the school uniforms made here. We have a cheerleading outfit, which I am going to wear. Look at me. We also have like a school dress. And over here, we just have a skirt and like a polo shirt. And then also like a male version of it. But I just love how this looks. And also in items, you can go ahead and get some pom-poms out. So I can actually be a cheerleader. Look at me. I should definitely do a video where I like, I try and audition to be in a cheerleading group. I wonder if I'll make it. What about with these dance moves? Do you guys think I'll make it? I should definitely change this to dancer. There we go. That makes more sense. But anyway, this is Berry High School. It says go bears. As you guys can tell in a school, you would be role playing as a student. So you have the principal office in here. You have the canteen. And then we also have classrooms. So here are some of the classrooms. As you guys can see, we have lockers here as well. So you guys can go in here. You guys can sit down. You can also go ahead and get a book. See, so just me, look, just learning in class. Yeah, reading my book, doing my homework. Oh, and at the back, we actually have like a dance room, which fits because look, I'm a dancer. So I can go in here as a cheerleader. I can get my whole squad and I can start dancing. Come on, everyone, do the monkey. Go bears, let's go. Although this car is a game pass, the actual game is free. Everything that you guys can get, including the items, including everything in the avatar, it is mainly a free game because obviously we want you berries to enjoy role playing with us and we're so excited to see the videos or just any role plays that you guys do. So if we go into avatar, as you guys can see, there are so many like selections that you can change into. So many accessories. We also have nice shirts in here. We also have some of the 3D ones too. So look, we have sweaters that you guys can wear. I'll just put this on. It actually suits my car. But look, it just looks so cute. So you can change however you look. And that's not even the best part. The best part about this is the age. Look, you guys can be an adult, which is what I am right now. Or you can be a teenager, a child, or a toddler. And look at me. I'm so tiny. I love being a toddler. Look, I'm so small. I look so cute. So this means this game is perfect for role playing as a family as well because you can actually interact with toddlers. You can pick them up. You can also put them in prams. So this will go perfectly for role plays. And also in Avatar, you can actually make outfits. So if I want to keep this as an outfit, I can just be called cute purple. I can save it like that. And then I can go ahead and reset my character. And then I can click on this and as you guys can tell it actually saves my outfit which is perfect it also saves your age so if you want to like have a baby outfit then you can save it on here too and it just makes it a lot easier when you are role playing because you can save as many outfits as you want now since we are a toddler let's go ahead and show you guys the daycare there's a daycare over here which is obviously where toddlers should be so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like but look how fast I run look I'm sprinting for my life Go, baby, go. Okay, here we are outside the daycare, which looks so pretty. I love all the colors. And if we head inside, this is what it looks like. So you can have a receptionist here just sitting down. Yes, I can be a toddler receptionist. We have some books here. We have ABC. And then in here is basically where the toddlers will be. So you can sit down and just speak to each other. I love these chairs. They're like bunny chairs. And once again, Amber made this. We also have an area in here where obviously the babies can sleep. And look at them sleeping. It just looks so cute. So they can have their little nap in here. They also have a changing table so you can get changed. And then in here, they can just sit down in the tent and just play with their toys. There's also little like playing mats over here as well. And then in here is mainly like the kitchen area so they can have their bottles or their food and just sit in their high chair. But look how adorable I look. I'm such a cute baby. Even though my feet are huge. I've got big feet for a baby. Anyway, I think I am done with daycare now. I think actually I am ready to grow up. So I'm going to make myself straight into an adult. There we go. Perfect. Right, now we're going to go ahead and show you guys the grocery store. This is also another place where you guys can have a job. 
Okay, yeah, so here we are at the grocery food market. Now, we have some carts at the side. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a cart up. And then I'm going to start collecting some food that I need. So I get some Coca-Cola. Get some water bottles. Oh, oat milk. Yes, I need some oat milk. Oh, I also really crave a baguette. So I'm going to get a baguette. Let's see. Oh, and they also have the grocery store outfit right in the back. So you can also just quickly wear this outfit. And then look, now I work here. Okay, oh wait, I need some toilet paper. I think toilet paper is down this aisle, yes. Let's grab some toilet paper. And then I'm also going to get some fruit. So probably just maybe two red apples. And I'm going to go over here to self at checkout. And we're going to scan my items. Okay, it is scanning. It is bagging all of my items up. And then I'm going to collect them. All done. Break perfect. And there we go. There is my grocery shop all done. There are so many things to show you in this game. So I think the best way to do it would be to just go in free cam and just show you guys what Berry Avenue really looks like. And it just makes it a lot easier because I can show you guys all of the shops and just help you navigate your way around. So like I said, when you first come to Berry Avenue, this is where you will be right here. So you'll be right next to the beach. So you can go ahead and sunbathe. And then by the beach side, we also have these beautiful boats over here. So we have some smaller boats, as you guys can see here. And then we have this massive yacht. Look at this. The yacht is a game pass, but how cool is it? I feel like I could have loads of yacht parties on there. Like I said before, we have some of the lifeguards. You can also dress up as a lifeguard. But we also have these nice shops over here. So as you guys can see, if I cross the road, I have all these shops over here. I have this bakery, which I think looks so cute. I love the pastel colors of it. And you can actually work here, as you guys can see, with the uniform. They have these cute cakes. You can serve customers. You can actually work at the register and give people some of the cakes as well. And then next door to that, we have a hair salon where you can change your hair. You can get your hair washed. You can also get it, you know, styled here. And then it can also be blow dried over here as well. And then next door to that, we have a juice and smoothies, which is kind of like a healthy smoothie bar. So you have all smoothies here. You have an acai bowl. You also have a blender. So you can just have all these different ones. Look, smoothies. I think for smoothies, I would definitely get... Uh, a berry blush oh no i get a berry blast that sounds so nice that's the one i would get and then across the road we then have the nail salon so you can get all your nails painted here you can get a manicure you can get a pedicure and then the two shops next to that is beachside boutique and sunset clothing which is basically just clothing stores where you can come in here buy some accessories you can get them all in shopping bags you also have changing rooms we can go in there and change as well and sunset clothing is more just like beach clothes so you can buy some bikinis in there just any clothes you guys want to take to the beach and then you can cross the road and go over to the coffee house now to be fair i actually am feeling some coffee so let's go ahead and go over to the coffee house i'm actually going to steal this car sorry this car is now mine whoa i'm a bad driver oh 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 okay there we go perfect here's a here is the coffee house you can actually work here as well. Here is my apron. I can go ahead and just start working on some coffee. Just working on the machine. And then if customers come in, I can work at the till. I can also go ahead and get them some donuts. I can get them some takeaway coffee. Or like some frappuccinos. Anything that they would like. But the coffee shop isn't the only place that you guys can work at. Like I said before, there are so many jobs that you guys can go to. If we follow this road over here, then you can actually go to these two areas. You can go to the police station where you can work as a police officer, as you guys can see right here. We even have the police car, which also has a siren, by the way, which is so cool. So here is the police station, as you guys can see. We even have the room where you can take pictures of them. We also even have some of the prison cells where you can keep the prisoners. And we also have some of the interrogation rooms, which is so cool because look, you can't see if anyone's there watching you. And then we also have a fire department, which we also come with a fire truck. And we also have the outfit that you can turn into. And then over here we have the general hospital. So this is quite a large building. And then we have wheelchairs in here. We have everything for them. We even have the uniforms, which I think looks so cool. We have the patient one and we also have the doctor one. We also have the patient rooms where they can sit down and they can be in recovery. We have the waiting room area. 
Then we also have an elevator which can take you to the next floor. So this can take you all the way to the helipad which is on top of the hospital. This is also a game pass but you guys can fly around in the helicopter if you do buy it and it gives you such a pretty view of the entirety of the city. And all around the city we also have a bus stop so if you guys even want to roleplay as a bus driver you can go ahead and do that. We also have a lot of interactions at the moment too including animation so we have a hurt one which is perfect for the hospital so if you guys are hurt, injured or you need the lifeguard for instance you can use this animation and just be lying on the floor but we also have a different ones we also have a wave one we have hip hop dance which is perfect because I'm a dancer look at me go see I got the moves we've got the wave dance around the world there's just so many different styles of it even the YMCA and here we also have the settings menu so if you guys want to change anything including like the volume or if you don't want name tags you can hide that you can also hide the interactions. You can also um, do your home permissions here. So you can have everyone in your house or just you. Vehicle permissions, everything here. And actually that's the one thing we haven't discussed yet, which is the house. Now, that's the one thing we haven't looked at. So over here we have house. And right now I don't have a house. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drive over to the house area. So let's go ahead and get a cute bike out because I do really like this bike. It looks so pretty. We're gonna go ahead and ride our bicycle over to the houses area. Okay, so follow me everyone, we are gonna go past the bakery. We're also gonna take a left here and go past the grocery store. And we're gonna head straight down over here. Okay, I am currently crossing the bridge right now. Oh, going down a steep hill. I'm going fast, I'm going fast. Okay, so as you guys can see, there are loads of plots and they all have a for sale sign. So if you go up to these signs, you can go ahead and claim the plot and you can choose whatever house you want. So we have two houses here, which are going to be Robux houses, but the rest of them are free. And there's a variety of you to choose from. Abba is also going to be making a lot of other houses too. So expect those to come in the future. So I think for now, I'm going to pick... Um, let's pick this one. I quite like the modern one. Okay, the house has it loaded. Here we go. So we have at the garage right here, which is opening. So you can go ahead and put your bike in there so no one steals it. Because it is a pretty bike and I know someone would want to steal it. I should probably put the lock on actually. We also have a doorbell here. But I don't actually need to ring it because I actually am the owner. So let's just go straight in here. We will lock the door. Now, as you guys can see, this is my house. We have a book right here, which you guys can select and pick up. You can also turn off the lamps. But they also have light switches around the house as well, like right here, where you guys can turn off the lights. We have a nice couch here. Also some like relaxing animations too, such as this, where I can just sit back and relax. We also have these paintings around, but these can actually be decals. So you can actually like customize your house yourself by adding in your own decals. So if you guys want your own pictures of your roleplay family or just any pictures, you can put it in here and it just makes your house more of a home. And here's a front room area so you guys can lay down here, chill out. You can also watch some TV. So let's put a TV on. We have the news on as you guys can see. Or we can see the news, we can see the weather broadcast, or we can watch a cooking show. To be fair, that actually looks a lot like Josh. But enough of that, I'm actually going to turn that off because I'm going to show you guys the rest of the house. So over here, we just have a kitchen. Once again, everything is interactable. You guys can even go to the sink, you can wash your hands, you can get some water, have a little sip. You can also brush your teeth. But you can also open like the oven, you can open the fridge, you can go outside into the garden, sunbathe once again or go swimming. Now here are one of the bedrooms, also all the wardrobes you can go up there, you can also customise your avatar at the wardrobes which makes it a bit more realistic. But we also have a bed in here too so you guys can go to sleep, all tucked in to the duvet. And then in here, we just have more of like the laundry area so you guys can actually pick up the laundry basket and you can actually wash your clothes in here. So I'm going to start washing these clothes. Okay, perfect. And then whilst that's happening, I'm also going to wash my teeth. And I'm also going to go around the house actually and just start like hoovering up a bit. Okay, so I'm going to hoover, hoovering the floor, getting rid of all the dirt. 
Okay, perfect. Now let's take you guys upstairs. Once again, we just have other bedrooms. We even have like kids room in some of these houses, including a little berry plushie right there. But I'm not going to show you guys the entirety of the house because I really want you guys to go ahead and check that out for yourself as well. But that is basically it for Berry Avenue. I feel like I've shown you guys everything that there is to show you. I've shown you all the shops. I've shown you how you can roleplay in jobs, all the animations you can have, the vehicles, the avatar, items. And I feel like it's time for you guys to go ahead and explore this game for yourself. When you guys go ahead and explore the game, please make sure you like the game and also favorite it. If you guys do feel like it deserves that, it would really mean the world to us. Also, if you guys have any ideas what to do for updates or anything like that, we are open to suggestions and we would love to hear your input. Other than that, I'm so happy you guys are watching this video. Please go ahead and check out this game after watching it. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Like for more content and I'll see you all next time.